In this tutorial, we're going to round up the best CAD software choices for 2026. So let's just jump right in. So let's kick things off by talking about plasticity. So plasticity is marketed as a CAD for artists, and there's a really good reason for this. So unlike most of the software that I'm going to round up on this list, um, plasticity uses direct modeling instead of parametric modeling. And you might be wondering, well, what does that even mean? Well, essentially what it means is that within plasticity, you can just jump in and start working. No careful upfront planning is needed like you would have with parametric systems, for example, platforms like Fusion 360, Onshape, or SolidWorks. Now, notice here in the sidebar, I have a file system that shows the solids, curves, and sheets. As you can see, this is more of a file system and less of a history system. So if we were to jump into a CAD like Shaper 3D, here you'll see in the sidebar that we have a history-based uh, modeling system where we can jump in and change the order of our work as well as zero in and change things like our 2D planes and projections, which logic just does not exist within uh, plasticity. Now, this approach, of course, has both its pros and cons. Now, the thing with parametric modeling is that if you change something early in your design, it can break components that come after it. And that's why a lot of creatives find this approach sometimes quite restrictive. Also, parametric modeling does tend to have a bit of a steeper learning curve, especially for creatives who might be more familiar with platforms, for example, like Blender. So plasticity just doesn't take this um, parametric approach at all. Instead, they allow you to manipulate things directly within your workstation. And if you create a design, which let's just say is kind of like geometrically not allowed, a little warning will just pop up letting you know that your design changes can't be applied. Now, one of the major upsides to this approach is that it is ridiculously easy to start modeling. So let me show you what I mean. Now I'm going to use Lightloop here to just create a concept image first, and this will allow me to work backwards from my desired final product. So if you haven't heard of Lightloop, it's a product ideation tool that takes um, really anything, but in this case, I'm using napkin sketches, and it turns these rough ideas into gorgeous product images and videos. And the cool part is, is that it can also flatten 3D images into 2D orthographic CAD sketches um, that you could then import right into plasticity or really any other CAD for tracing. Now, I love this workflow because personally, I would much rather start with a clear end vision rather than fumbling around doing a lot of this ideation work in in my CAD software. So here's what I got. I started with this simple napkin sketch and then Lightloop turned it into uh, these AI generated images, um, this video here, as well as this CAD sketch. So now I'm just going to bring this CAD sketch into plasticity. And now look, I can just start sketching out my geometry right away and then I can start working towards my final product vision. So as you can see, it's just really, really easy to use. Now, in terms of pricing, Plasticity offers a 30-day free trial, so you can test it out, uh, though the free version does limit exports and doesn't allow uh, for commercial use. For actual work, the Indie license is only $175 and includes commercial use rights and a year of updates. Now, other than the free and open source options that I'm going to tell you about shortly, Plasticity is the most affordable commercial option on this list. Okay, so next up we have Shaper 3D. So Shaper 3D is one of my all-time favorite CAD systems. So like Plasticity, it features a beautifully designed interface with intuitive navigation and both light and dark modes. But what sets Shaper 3D apart, in my opinion, is how they balance making their software accessible without compromising engineering power. It's simply one of the most capable engineering CAD programs on this list. So Shaper 3D uses a unique hybrid system that combines direct modeling, sort of like what we saw over when we were using plasticity, and history-based parametric modeling, which is what you'll often find in traditional CAD systems like Fusion 360, for example. So what I personally love about this is that it lets you toggle between both approaches. Now, this flexibility gives you the immediacy of direct modeling and the precision of parametric workflows whenever you need it. Uh, another standout feature of Shaper 3D is their ability to generate detailed 2D technical drawings with precise measurements for manufacturing, uh, something plasticity unfortunately does not offer. So this makes the transition from design to production entirely seamless. And finally, Shaper 3D's pricing is also exceptional. Their free plan lets you create up to two projects, which is perfect for testing whether the software fits your needs. Um, while there are some limitations here, for example, you can experiment with materials, but you can't save your project 
product with those materials applied. Uh, the free tier does provide genuine functionality kind of out of the box. And then if you decide to upgrade, their paid plans are remarkably affordable given the software's capabilities. So next up, we have Fusion 360. Now, Fusion 360 is one of the most popular CAD systems on the market, and for good reason. It's an incredibly powerful CAD system. So unlike Plasticity and Shaper 3D, Fusion 360 is fully parametric with extensive history-based modeling. So if you're coming at this from an engineering background rather than from a creative one, Fusion 360 will feel very intuitive for you. It's also better suited for more complex assemblies thanks to its structured engineering workflows and standards. However, there is an important trade-off here. Fusion 360 has a significantly steeper learning curve. So for example, you might become proficient or at least somewhat proficient using a tool like Shaper 3D in around, let's say, 40 hours. Um, Fusion 360, on the other hand, might require 400 hours or more of practice and learning to essentially reach the same level of comfort within the system. Now, of course, this varies uh, per individual, but it's worth considering when choosing your CAD platform. Essentially, if you're just looking for CAD software to play around with for a uh, half an hour or so on weekends, this CAD might be overkill. However, if you're running a professional hardware design studio, this software might be exactly what you're looking for. Now, in terms of pricing, they offer a free version for personal use. Now, to qualify, your annual revenue must be under $1,000, which admittedly is a very low threshold. However, like Shaper 3D's free tier, it's sufficient enough to explore whether the software meets your needs. Um, the free personal license is also valid for um, three years and covers home-based non-commercial projects. Okay, so next up we have FreeCAD. Now FreeCAD offers surprisingly comprehensive capabilities for open source software. It does include uh, parametric 3D modeling, um, finite element analysis, uh, experimental CFD capabilities, architectural design modules, and even basic CAM features for CNC machining. However, FreeCAD has notable drawbacks. As you can see, its interface is far from intuitive and it's not particularly pretty compared to the commercial options available. Um, it has much more of a cluttered UI and therefore can be a little bit harder for beginners to get their heads around. So expect to invest more time learning this free CAD software compared to the more polished commercial alternatives like Fusion 360 or Shaper 3D. Now, next up, we have Onshape. So Onshape is one of my favorite CAD systems on the market, and it's fundamentally different from the others that I've discussed so far because it's truly cloud native. Essentially, it's a CAD that runs entirely in your browser with computation happening on remote servers. Now, this architecture enables simultaneous collaboration. Essentially, multiple engineers can work on the same assembly at once with changes appearing in real time. So Onshape excels for distributed teams working across offices or remotely, uh, as well as for situations where you might have some type of contractor or vendor collaboration where you need to share design securely without sending files. However, this does mean that it requires an internet connection to work and the browser-based modeling experience might just feel a little bit different than the native desktop app experience. Now, like Fusion 360, it's fully parametric, uh, so it doesn't offer the direct modeling flexibility uh, of plasticity or Shaper 3D's hybrid approach. Also, it should be said that Onshape isn't uh, a CAD tool just for teams. It's also an excellent uh, choice for solo designers and engineers. This CAD software is powerful yet approachable with a manageable learning curve and amazing online tutorials. Now, personally, what I love most about Onshape is its technical drawing feature. It has one of the most beautiful and intuitive 2D technical drawing tools of any CAD system that I've seen. Now, what Onshape has achieved here is simply a level above the competition. Pricing-wise, Onshape offers a a free plan for non-commercial personal projects with unlimited public storage. For commercial use, the standard plan is $1,500 per user annually and includes unlimited private storage. Now, the professional plan at $2,500 uh, per user annually adds advanced features like PDM uh, simulation, rendering, and CAM capabilities. Lastly, I want to mention a few other professional grade CAD systems. So SolidWorks, Creo, NX, and AutoCAD. Now these are incredibly powerful tools, but they're typically used by large enterprise rather than indie builders. And since I created this list with indie builders, freelancers, and hobbyists in mind, I focused more on accessible options that won't require enterprise budgets or IT departments to get started. 
All right, so now you've got the tools, but before you dive into any of these CAD systems, it's important to remember that you have to start with strong concepts, ideally jaw-dropping ones. Now, to nail this ideation in creative design work, you can use a tool like Lightloop to transform rough napkin sketches into beautiful 3D product images, videos, and orthographic sketches. Then you can import that flattened 2D geometry directly into any CAD system on this list and start tracing. This means that you'll never be staring at a blank screen wondering where to start again. Instead, using a tool like Lightloop, um, what you'll be doing is you'll be giving yourself a clear vision, which you can then just start to work towards within your CAD. So if you haven't already, be sure to check out Lightloop linked to in the description below. Also, if you found this helpful and want to learn more about product design, make sure that you like this video as well as subscribe to our channel. So that's all I have for you. Thanks for stopping by today.